I've got a couple of uh, tasks, and they're uh, quite enjoyable, actually. Um, I want to tell you about two exciting things that are, uh, that are happening, one of which was launched today. Eco America, Aishi, and uh, I have the option, I have the wonderful opportunity to be helping to coordinate this effort. Uh, be today began the launch of a new initiative to get 200 college and university presidents in the next year to commit to taking their universities and society to climate neutrality. And um, we are very excited about this, about this effort. And we had the first meeting today, first organizing meeting, of 18 college and university presidents, provosts, vice presidents for finance, and other designees to talk about how to launch this effort. And our goal is by June of 2007 to get 200 college and universities presidents to make this commitment. This is complementary and will work closely with the, um, the, with the Campus Climate Challenge and also the Focus the Nation program. And the whole idea behind this is very simple. The idea is that global warming is now creating the single most important challenge to civilization in the 21st century. You heard Bill McKibben say that last night. And indeed, if we don't find a way to solve that problem, there is no way that we can create a society in which all people will be healthy, in which we have strong, thriving communities, in which there is social and economic justice for everybody and economic opportunity for all those on the planet and in future generations. And it is our belief in launching this initiative that if higher education doesn't take the leadership role on this issue, then there is no way that the problem can get solved. You know, in the, in the past, higher education has risen to the risen to the, to, the, um, to the challenge of issues like the war on cancer, the space race, technological superiority and innovation in the, 21st century, in the 20th century. However, other challenges that we faced, such as the defeat of, not, of fascism in World War II, yes, colleges and universities were important in doing the research that helped make that possible but we weren't front and center. We are front and center on this one because we create the knowledge and the graduates that will help us make a difference. And so today we, we launched the effort to get a leadership group of presidents who will commit to be taking their campuses and society to become climate neutral and to help persuade their colleagues over the next nine to 12 months to join this effort. And uh, we will have more information about this. The meeting was a absolute success from my perspective. There wasn't one negative bit of energy. The suggestions that have been flying at me since that time about what could be done and how we could get it done and how we can get universities to sign on has been nothing short of remarkable. And so I want to tell you this, about this great ray of hope for us that the combination of this effort with the incredible work of the Campus Climate Challenge to get 750 colleges to, 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 to in the, over the next three years to have active programs to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and the Focus the Nation uh, effort to get 1,000 colleges in January of 2008 to really focus on the idea of how we deal with climate change as a society means to me that higher education has the opportunity here to do something that it may have never d done before, which is to lead the charge on creating a healthy, just, and sustainable society for the 21st century. So I'm very pleased to report that, that effort. Um, we will be communicating with all of you. If uh, we are looking for presidents that you think, uh, from your universities, that you think are willing to sign on to this commitment, and, um, and all I can say is, let's bring it on. And uh, we're really excited about this. Thank you very much.